Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to enumerate a Windows Active Directory using crack map exec. So are you ready? Let's get started. So on my previous videos I showed you a couple of things that you can do in order to enumerate Windows Server Machine. So we started with the manual uh, enumeration then using actually power view in order to enumerate windows active directory but in this video i'm gonna show you how to enumerate active directory using a tool called crack map exec so here i'm using uh, kali linux so it's installed by default but it's easy to install you just type up install crack map exec or you can just clone the gip the git repository on the internet okay so the name as i told you is crack map exec so if i tap crack map exec you will see that i'm using here version 5.4.0 okay so the tool is described as swiss army knife for pen testing networks okay so here you can see different options that you can use and this tool actually use one of these protocols it use SMP which we will be using in this video it can also use SSH, FTP, WinRM, LDAP, RDP and MS SQL okay but here as I told you we will be using SMP which stands for uh, server manager block so actually it's a service that allows users and computers to access remote resources with actually the authorization required okay so the first thing first let's try actually to uh, get a list of ips on my network so in order to do that we type crack map exec okay and that, as i told you we'll be using the protocol smp okay then our network here slash 24 so if i hit enter here i get a list of live hosts on my network so here i have a couple of four machines so the first one is detected as windows 7 professional okay the second one has no names actually it's live box but it hasn't detected system okay and we have a couple of two which are both Windows 10 so actually the last one here as you can see it's actually my domain controller which called SRV hash W2K19 okay so here is the power of my uh, Windows or SMP which is 445 okay so we'll be trying actually to use crack map exec in order to enumerate this windows domain controller so as i told you crack map exec can do a lot of things one of the things that it can do it can actually brute force attack against this windows actually domain controller so as you can see here on my desktop i have a couple of files so actually i have two i have one pass that contains the password the default password or the common password and one that contains also the common usernames so I'll be using this uh, two files in order to brute force attack this Windows server so just for a quick or demonstration I already put my uh, admin password on the password.txt file here because sometimes it takes a lot of time in order to get actually the username and password so here just for demonstration purposes and show you how we can do that using these two files so actually the command is pretty simple so remember here the IP address of my Windows domain controller it's that one that 20 so I'll be using crack map exec so here the IP address of my domain controller and of course minus u for users and here i'll provide the full path to my users.txt file so here i'm on the same directory so all i have to do is to provide the name of the file and also minus p and i'll provide 
the password file that contains all the passwords needed. So I will hit enter and see if crack map exec can get me actually the password username and password for that domain controller. Here we go. So the attack is launched. And here we go. You can see it has detected the username is administrator and the password is p arobask ssw 0rt so it's common password used for demonstration here and of course aminos.local is the name of my domain okay so that's one of the utilities that we can use with crack map exec in order to get the username and the password but here in this video we're gonna just use it to enumerate windows active directory domain okay so let's start so now that we have the username and password, we can actually use SNMP in order to see uh, in details the content or the enumeration of Windows domain controller. So I will use here the username administrator, okay, because I got it. And the password is PSW0RT. Okay, so here I'll be using it against my domain controller as I told you. Okay, so let's hit enter and see the result. And of course, here I'm still using SMP protocol. Okay, here we go. Oh, here it still uh, actually told me that it's Windows 10, but actually it's Windows Server Data Center 2019. Okay. And of course here I have the, the name of my domain controller and the domain name. Okay. So I can use this crack map exec in order to enumerate the users. So I'll use the same actually uh, command but at the end I'll use dash dash users. Okay. In order to enumerate the users in this domain controller. Okay. So here we go. It gets me all users in this domain controller. So we have salesperson three, salesperson two. We have Ginny. We have uh, this user KRPTGT, which is for Kerberos. We have also radius user. We have Amina. We have the guest, and of course, the administrator, which is the user for this domain controller. Okay. So we have enumerated the users on my domain. I can use the same command in order to get this time the groups. So all I have to do is to change users by the groups keywords. Okay. Here we go. So here we have the different users or actually the groups of my domain controller. We have the famous one. For example, DNS admin, we have the domain guests, the domain admins, okay. Of course, the administrator and the domain users. So, those are all the groups of my domain controller, okay. We can also use the same command in order to get, uh, for example, the shares. So, I will just replace the groups by shares. Here we go. And here we have all the shares of my domain controller with the appropriate or the corresponding permissions. So we have admin dollars, C dollar, we have cert enroll share. Here we have also a share called docs that I have created with the permission read and write. We have the E dollar, okay. So a lot of things here that we can enumerate from this domain controller actually. We can also get the sessions in this domain, the active sessions in this domain controller. Here we go. So we have here all the sessions in this domain controllers. Okay. Of course, we can also get the disks or the partitions in this domain controller. Here we go. Using just keyword disks. 
So you can see here that I have a partition C, D and E, okay? So these are all very interesting actually information that we can get from our domain controller. And finally, I will just end using uh, a pretty interesting one, which is the password of the domain. The password policy actually. So uh, if I type here the pass, pass minus policy, I will get the corresponding domain password policy. Okay, so this is very important for pen testing, for example. So here you can see the minimum password length is 7, the password history length is 24, okay, and the maximum password age, which is 41 days, okay, and the different flags for the domain password store, lockup, and so on. So these are all valuable information if you are actually doing some pen testing. And as I told you, this tool is just a post-exploitation tool that you can use. Okay, so it's post-exploitation tools that you can use, but also it has a lot of models that we can actually go deep in the next videos. Okay, so that was just a brief introduction to this very useful tool that you can use in order to enumerate a Windows Active Directory domain, which calls Crack Map Exec. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.